Welcome back to Doki Doki Panic Club Part 4. Uh, we're about to read some poetry. Well, make some poetry, rather. Um, because uh, that's what we do here on this thing. Yes. It, isn't it fun? It's, it's that immersion to try to get into the spirit of the game. It is. Which, it, uh, it, we've it, been it failing sense. hardcore at that, but you know what? I'm fine with that. I mean, the the real meat and potatoes hasn't come yet. It hasn't. Actually, I did sort of try to figure out when that's going to happen. We're going to be here a while in this happy um, Sunshine and Rainbows Club land. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. uh, so get ready to get your Lucky Star glasses on, because that's what it's going to be like. Lucky Star? Ooh. Yeah, Lucky Star. No um, personally, I was more of a fan for, uh, I think it's, what is it called? School Rumble? I don't know. That was a good one. I only watched one episode of Lucky Star because some guy tried to make me watch it one time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, you I mean, should listen you get... to the intro. I'm like, okay. And then we Whoa. watched the whole episode. Uh, anyways, you want to start or should I? Oh, yes. Let's read our poetry. I'll, I'll, yes. I'll read my poetry poem first. Okay. I thought it was really good. All right. <clears throat> This is a poem I made for this game, specifically. It's called Doki Doki Panic Club. <clears throat> Stories begin with once upon a time, and poetry's rule is that it rhymes. Yet Animu girls seem to not care. When is this game going to go anywhere? <laughs> that was good. All right. I I'm going to say this one didn't come out nearly as good as I thought it would. Um, this one's actually based on my own day today. Ooh. Um, but, but just bear with it. You might know what I was trying to do with it, but, uh, I'll, 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 I'll begin. Replacing a Game Boy cart battery, it's a confusing mess. Patience and perseverance brings self-flattery. Hmm. Feeling no stress, I must attest, solder working is the best. I like it. I mean, it, the short summary of I, I got my Pokemon Crystal cart working today because the battery was bad. You know, that's that's fine. You know, it's a nice little insight on your life in a creative mm -hmm. fashion. You know, you can hit I, the I get, skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. I I know game. So we got to do this. I think last time I let you go first, but yes. I'll go first. Yeah, so I'll take the odds, you take the evens. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, who do you think is going to be, like, the, the um, white foe of choice? I think we're heading off. Oh, should I open the point system? i got to open that up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to end up with uh, pink there, and unfortunately. For today? You, th you think pink is going to be today's white foe of choice? Mm. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I my you know, I'm always a fan of little sister complex just because she adds, um, you know, kind of like a more positive demeanor to the part. But that said, I I'm kind of feeling rock today. I think See, rock I'm, is gonna be. I'm okay. never feeling rock. I mean, I, I feel like her character gets slightly better the more you pay attention to her, but That's gonna be um, so she is pretty dark. Oh, um, I hope we end up with... Honestly, I'd like to see Little Sister Complex be our waifu of choice. Yeah, I'm fine with because that. Because she's the one I like the most, dislike the least, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, so I get to pick a word now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's go uh, electricity. Electricity. <laughs> um, essence. <laughs> uh, how about um, peaceful? Peaceful. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, captive. <laughs> I'm really not trying to go for rock, by the way. I know I said, like, today's waifu, but honestly, I'm just... How about, um... Awesome. That's pretty legit. Um... 
kitty. <laughs> Uh, how about Lucky? How about, um, Lipstick? <laughs> uh, let's go, uh, Landscape. Let's go, uh, Puppy. <laughs> um,. How about question? Hmm. Oh, life's a party. Um, headphones. Man, oh man. Um, obviously vanilla. Hmm. Uh, obviously clumsy. Who's gonna be clumsy, I wonder? Oh, it's Little Sister Complex. I guess that fits. Uncanny X-Men. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, how about Valentine? Oh, no. Alright, don't worry. I got Pink, you. Pink has weird vibes. Um, um, ooh, uh, raindrops. Oh, that's gonna be rock. It is. Oh. <laughs> I like how we just basically have these guys, like, uh, as just, like, a thing. Or an adjective. No, oh, that's a rock word. Not even bothered with their names. I, I don't remember their names, is the problem. Uh, Sayori? Yeah. I think that's Yui? Yui? I thought it was Yui. Three letter word. I don't. I think you begin with an N or something, and then not, you got Monica. Natsuma or something like that. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Let's go sing. Okay. Oh. All right. There's Monica. Oh, it's on auto. Yes. Good. It's good. Now I don't have to pay attention. Um. You see. Oh, Yuri. Yuri Lowenthal, okay. Yeah. Yuri Lowenthal, you're looking a bit different these days, man. You, um, got more feminine looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. The voice actor for Toby and Astaroth and Marth and any character who kind of has like a more... Oh. Higher oh. male voice. From Catherine. Yeah. Okay. That's Yuri Lowenthal. I didn't know that. He has a smexy voice. All his characters kind of sound like that. You're right, but they all sound smexy on the other hand. Like, young, empowered man. Which is why he's empowered, because all the ladies are, like, swooning over his voice. Mm -mm -mm. Why is everyone looking at me? They always are. I'm nervous. I don't, I don't I don't like this. I don't like it either. But somebody Do they have right? Are we talking about the festival? We're talking know. about the festival. All right, Chez, uh I sort of looked this up. Apparently a few days after the festival stuff is supposed to start happening. What well, can the festival start right now? Well, I wish, but I guess we have to talk about who's going to be, like, in charge of... The... Or I guess we have to talk about what we're going to do for the festival. Can we if I get like... a choice, I'm going to say, uh... I don't know, they're talking about Fred uh, Squid. I mean, that's a pretty good choice. I, I like Calamari. Calamari. Me too. Man. Yeah. One point for you. One point for you. I actually think it was Pink who suggested All right. Calamari. Pink, you get a point for me. Yeah. Um... I have no idea. I, I, I think I remember watching this one anime where they did like a horror, like a, a haunted house sort of thing. Was this, uh. What, the festival? Yeah, well, like, they're. Like, because they had a festival and they had to do, like, a thing and they chose, like, a haunted house. Oh, okay. You know what? For some reason, I kind of vaguely remember. 
but I don't know why, because I definitely didn't watch it. What do we see? Uh, walk who over we, to... Who are we walking over oh, to? Oh, baby. Sayori? Yeah, little sister complex. She looks sad. She is spacing out. She's a spaceman. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. The song makers said it ain't so bad. Dream make gonna make mad. Spaceman <laughs> says everybody look down. I was gonna go with Rocket Man. That one's pretty good too. Yeah. Um, she feels a little. Oh, she fe We think she. Filbert thinks she feels a little off. Well, as Filbert's was uh, left mine. Whatever the creative side is, creative I say uh, that's your job, Chess, to to say how how Philbert feels about that. Philbert don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's. Just... <laughs> I mean, Phil. <laughs> It's like the exact opposite of what Philbert's doing in this whole entire situation. He's doing it for ulterior motive. He's you're <laughs> probably right. And that's my fault. Philbert's a lonely, lonely man. Boy. Spending too much time on the internet. He's reading, um, uh, what's that risque anime with all the... Uh, I don't know. There's so many of them. The, the famous one. There's there's a lot of them. Black Butler or something like that. Oh, I've never watched that, but I think I know where you're going with this. He's like I'm not entirely too. sure, but I I I'm pretty sure I know. The only problem He's is that one. But it's like dude on dude, if I remember. Oh well, I don't. I don't do, Look, do you, do I, I sound like the kind of guy that watches those things. No, but you do bring up a good point. Is Filbert is Filbert like bisexual or possibly gay? I don't. I don't think, think he is. I think at most like maybe by by curious. Maybe. I mean, there's not a single guy in this game. You're right, and that's the problem here. Monica's asking us something. I don't know. She thinks we should. Uh... She's. Yeah, it's just asking about our relationship with, uh, was it Little Sister Complex? Yeah. Oh, it is called, the painting in Persona is called the Sayori, but it's spelled differently. Yes, it is. I, I was watching my one friend play Persona today. And he was, af at, like, at that part. Alright, Chaz. Yo. It turns out you're the left half of the brain, and I'm the right half of the brain. All right, I could do left half. Yeah, I'm right half. Well, apparently... But I control the left side of the body, you see. Okay, well, I control the right side of the body. Um, yes, that's, that's absolutely right. It's kind of confusing, but all right. It is. Um, are, are you ready for what you're capable of? Yeah. Am Analytic capable? thought, logic, language, reasoning, science and math, written, numbers, skills, Jeez. right hand control. Me, I'm, I am, my functions are our awareness, creativity, imagination, intuition, insight, holistic thoughts, hmm. music awareness, 3D form, left hand control. So all the things that I'm in control of are things I'm actually terrible at in real life. And, and I mean, like, I'm okay at what I'm at, I guess. I want to play Pokemon. I want to play Doki Doki Panic. Uh, that, that, actual, that's also a good game. Actual, no, no, I mean... Not, oh. the, not the Super Mario Bros. 2. Even though no, was... I don't, I don't want to play Doki Doki Panic. Here's the problem with Doki Doki Panic as opposed to Mario Bros. Mario Brothers 2. Okay. In Doki Doki Panic, you actually have to get through all the stages with all the characters. What? Yeah. Uh, alright, alright. Well, I just want to play it because I've never played it. it. It's exactly like Mario Brothers. With, like, different sprites because 
Look at Mom. All, all the sprites were not. I want to play Mario. Um, anyways, wanna, you know what? I want to play Super Mario Brothers two now because it's game of the year, seven hundred. <laughs> you know, I was so. I feel like with Donkey, since yeah. you're referencing Donkey, I feel like with Donkey, like there are days where Donkey's like, or there's years where Donkey's like super like into that joke. Yeah, this year was definitely not that year. Yeah, like it, it goes like one or the other. I'm not saying that it, he has to have a pattern, you know, it's just... No. Is he doing it because he thinks it's funny, or is he doing it because his fans... I think at first it was because he thought it was funny, but now it's almost like a lot, uh, an obligation to the fans. I mean, I, I mean, I honestly, I'd probably be bummed if it wasn't mentioned at least, but I understand. Yeah. Um... It, it's, it's the pain... Of having a running gag and having to kind of own up to it. Yeah. Uh, you let you sat yourself down, man. Sat down. Well, uh, so I already said something about. I, I gotta be honest. If we are the brain, I feel like this is perfectly normal behavior. Exactly. I don't want to listen to any of these people. I'd rather be thinking about Mario Brothers too. We are definitely the id and the ego, or the super ego. Right. <laughs> He's the id. the id and the super ego. <laughs> you know, I always like how there's the ego and then there's another section that's called the super ego. See, I I learned about this one time, but I really can't remember. I almost failed. So, I'm like the worst mm -hmm. to ask for this. Mostly because I hated that psychology. class. Psychology. I hated that class. Well, you know, I find it interesting, and it, the concept of it is interesting, but I feel like if you have to really do a lot of hardcore, like, uh, studying with it, it becomes less interesting, you know? It's like, it's like when you have, like, a passion, but then it becomes really jaded because you have to, it's work. Well, my class had about 85 students in it, and the professor was, um... He was really into talking about psychological drugs and how they mess with his thinking. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of hard to learn when he's just like talking about things he did. Sort of sounds like my math class my senior year. Nice. Except that's even so, worse. Well, okay. Understand. Different, different subject. But, uh, so I had a math I had a math class, it was statistics, but the teacher was new to teaching. Ooh. And so a lot of it had to do with the fact that he was doing all these experimental things because being his, his first class ever, it's all an experiment. You know, and he's like the type of teacher that's trying to be innovative and like come up with different ways, ways that, you know, are, are new. And uh, because... You know, he's like, I want to challenge things, and I want to, I want to sh shake the foundation of teaching, and I want to find what works for me as opposed to like every other teacher. And and so the problem with it was, the guy would bring in his DS and teach with his DS, <laughs> and also, like like uh, brain age. Oh. Um. He so he would teach with his DS. He would. Play movies on the TV because all of the classrooms had TVs. But a lot of it was um, he would he would actually play movies. I remember Corpse Bride was playing one day, and so I, I remember it was just like he he straight up was like you can you can pay attention to me if you want, but I understand if like you need a break like. Uh, one day, one class day or whatever. So you know, here's the TV. Here's like everything else. You can do what you want. And I'm just like, you're setting us up for failure. You know, <laughs> Does, like like straight up. I'm just like, yeah, he's teaching. Well, you have like one kid who actually brought in uh, an SP, and they were playing Pokemon Emerald. Nice. <laughs> I know, but like the teacher wasn't about to like take it away. It was just like. You can do whatever, it doesn't really bother me one bit. Like, I was in class for one day and, you know, like, I needed distraction. This sounds like, like, the best teacher in recess, like, teaching. He was like, trying oh, to... 
Yeah, like, he's trying to kind of match the level with the students, but at the same time, I was like, this is awesome, but I feel like if we get a test, I'm going to do very poorly on it, because at the same time, it was still a class, and he was still legitimately teaching all the students. Mm -hmm. And, like, there was still, like, things to take notes on, even though, like, it was a math class. Um, you still take notes on it, like, you know, methods and all that, and it's statistics, and I don't know if you know anything about statistics, but some of that's, some of it's kind of confusing. Let's just leave it at that. Well, Pink was there for this whole conversation that I didn't read at all. Well, uh, that's me just doing <laughs> the, the thing of saying, uh, make sure you have a follow-up question by reiterating the last thing they said. Um, yeah. Let's go play, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go find your old teacher and we'll play, um... Maybe Actually, play here's the follow-up to that story, because yeah. th this was the best part. Apparently one class, or uh, one day during class, not my class... Uh, oh, I guess we have to do a We're random doing, number generator. It's poetry time. It is poetry time. So one day during class, uh, apparently, um... I forget who it was. It might have been the superintendent or someone. Mm -hmm. But they caught him sleeping in his car. Oh. And uh, that from there on, we had a different teacher. Oh. And it was treated a lot more like a typical math class. Mm. Poor guy. I know. Um... Let's just go at number f Who? Four. Oh. That's not what the random number generator said. I oh, wasn't there in the number generator. Her. I didn't even see. I didn't even know there was an R in your name, Rock. <sighs> Rocky. I mean, I guess there is because Rock starts with an R, but... Yeah, you think she's related to Rocky Balboa? Absolutely not, because her name is U Yuri. Adrian! <laughs> but we call her Rock because it's the equivalent of talking to one. Yep. You think man, she's oh like, man. What kind, what kind of Rock do you think she is? You think she's like the boulder that SpongeBob drives, or like? No, um, I think she, you know she, her hair color kind of reminds me of Obsidian. Okay, she's so she. Oh, that's the densest of rocks. <laughs> Dense. It, but I mean, her hair has kind of a glossy look. It's really dark. It sort of reminds me of Obsidian in Minecraft, except it also has the glossy look that actual Obsidian has. All right, I, I'm good with that. She's Obsidian. Yeah, but, but she's not, still a rock. But not the game company Obsidian that made. Uh, no, absolutely Fall not. We're Vegas. just talking about actual. <laughs> We're talking about actual Obsidian, or yeah. rather, in this case, Yuri, who... Because if she was Fallout New Vegas, this would be a good game. <laughs> um... Uh... What are we learning about now? Um... Something deep, I bet. Um... Personal way to get in touch with yourself. I knew it. Um, drinking see, alcohol. You're, see, see, the rock, rock here... She's extremely deep, and, you know, it, yeah, this is all, like, enlightening, I'm sure, but the problem is, I'm not interested. Is she talking about alcohol consumption? Cause that's no, she's talking about discovering yourself, and, like, digging deep and soul-searching, you know? It's, I did that once when I was a teenager because I would get depressed all the time. I'd have a lot of dark thoughts. I had dark thoughts too. You might see that in some of my old videos. But the thing is, I feel like as I've matured, I'm, I'm less dark, you know, I've, I've sort of come to accept myself. And, um, and is she is she starting to blush? Is she starting to be like, uh, Philbert? Oh, Philbert Chan. <laughs> oh, oh, Philbert Coon. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I do that to one of my co-workers all the time. Did you call him Philbert Chan? <laughs> mm -mm. So I have, a, I have a co-worker named Frank. Frank Chan? 
No, 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 no. Um, so, so he calls me Oni Chan. Oni Chan. <laughs> yeah, he calls me Oni Chan. In exchange, I call him Franco Coon. Just <laughs> like Franco Coon. He's like Oni Chan. <laughs> That's great. I know, and everyone looks at us and thinks like, "What the fuck is wrong with both of you?" And I'm just you like, to, "You, you, you won't understand. You, you don't get it." You have to call. Your, I get uh, it. You have to call your one of your cool bosses, boss senpai. Boss senpai. Well, you know, our supervisor may or may not be into it, <laughs> or whatever they call it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, that's the right honorific, right? Senpai. Uh. For like a boss. No, uh, I mean, Senpai is an upperclassman, oh, okay. if I'm what not else? mistaken. I mean, that's why you have, like, the meme, Senpai Notice Me. Look, we got a poem here. Personally, like, all the chicks in this game are Senpai Notice Me, and I'm Senpai. Hmm. So what's this one called? Beach. Beach, okay. Yeah. So, you know what? Rock might actually have something here for us. She's, um, there, like there's the possibilities. Sand. Like the sand in the beach. She once was a hard so something. Now she's soft sand. Um, well, maybe. I'll here, see. look. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. Let's she see. always has the most... She has really nice handwriting. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but... I can't read it. I'm thing. jealous. Okay. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface under a clean blue sky and expanse of bliss. Sorry, I'm terrible when it comes to cursive. Yeah. My grandma is a good example because she, she has kind of like this handwriting, so I had to like squint a little bit to try to like read what she wrote, but um. But beneath gray, rolling clouds, an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. So it reminds me, in order to make an apple pie, you must create the universe. <laughs> okay. I think that was Carl Sagan, but... Whatever, uh, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it get? Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave of sand? Or wait, no, that's not it. Will a sudden wave send you chasing or crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where the toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. That one, uh, turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore, drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. You know, one point for using the word forevermore. That, that, okay. That's, that's a fun word. I like that. It's well, very, very eager Alan Poe. Yeah. Um... It was, it was... She actually has kind of that concept going. I have to say, you know, in terms of in terms of poetry, this is probably one of her more optimistic pieces. You know, it's a little more on the positive side. I don't know about that, but it is. It is talking about beach. She has like her own twist to it. You know, it's she still she still has like a lot of the dark elements in play, but it's like she's a... talking about beach. It's like a light gray rather than a black. Right. That, that's a good way of putting it. I get you that. I can see that, yeah. Um, that whole Stan Castle illusion, that's pretty nice. That, that was pretty good. It talks about the inner sanctum or whatever. A, a, a body and uh, a mind is like weak like sand castles. And, you know, will the waves, which is life's events, are they going to lap at it 
and carefully chip away at your foundation, or is it just going to come out and just punch you in the face? It's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> I like that line. I, I do. I do like like the. Um, I like that. The one. contrast where she, basically, she's talking about the choices you have in the situation. Uh, much like as you're saying. Mm -hmm. This is a more well-developed poem. I, I kind of like it. It's, it. I'll give it a point for it. It's not bad. I'll, yeah. Uh, I don't know. There, there's not much else I can really say other than it's not not bad. Not bad, yeah. Rock. As poetry goes, this is definitely more poetic. And yeah. the um, I could get the metaphors and all that. It's, it's decent. Even though I was only half paying attention and slightly buzzed. I'm drinking this. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna openly admit. <laughs> yeah, this stuff's really strong. Okay. I don't know how much whiskey is in this, but it's kind of it's kind of a lot. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's all good. You and your Irish cream. <laughs> homemade Irish cream. It's not the stuff. The homemade on the Irish cream. <laughs> all right. I mean, um, it's cool, brother. So. You know what? I'll just give her another point because it was, it was middle gray. All right, I'm cool with it. Was that, more yeah. optimistic. I like that. All right, we're good with it. Did that. all right, kiddo. Yeah, good job, kid. You can go to. Too bad, Philbert's not gonna say that. No, nah, he's gonna be like, "Oh, I loved it." You lose. Yeah. Metaphorical your... approach. You know what? Come see I me. I guess. I guess I did kind of like see like read that you know i did kind of actually pick up on that a little bit i like to use metaphors but i'm terrible at it what's a metaphor um well philbert what's really, a metaphor philbert really just wants you know to date this girl you really think he wants to date rock here i don't i, I, was I think he be, said was, it himself i was trying to be polite I didn't want to use, well, yeah. I didn't want to use another term. <laughs> Are you saying he wants to doink doink in her boink boink? Yeah. Oh, okay. As as little Nikki put it, he wants to wash his winky in her kitchen sinky. <laughs> you know what? Here's the problem, though. That argument can be made for any of the other Why three ladies in this, this club. Out? It's not like he likes... You're right. It's not like he likes literature at all. But the problem is, he sold his soul for a cupcake. See, I like cupcakes. And even if I if I found this boring, I just wouldn't go anymore, even if the cupcakes were good. You're right. I, I would do the exact same. Unless I felt really strongly towards one of these people, and the only one technically who meets that for Filbert here is Little Sister Complex. But the big problem is, um, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, we gotta pick another uh, person. I know. I'm. 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 I'm putting up the generator. Okay, I got it. Uh, oh man. Um, uh, you know what? I got a question for you. Who do you not want it to be? Pink. Oh, you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> the number generator came up two. Oh boy. There it's time is. for Pink here. Always... You know what? She had she had a fun poem last time. I liked it. it she was always looks not what she was going for. She always looks bewildered. Like look at her face. Like oh. <laughs> Philbert. Philbert, you're talking to me. <laughs> it's not like they like you or anything, Baka. Oh, she she's smiling at us. Oh boy. I'm really not into pink, to be honest. I thought she was gonna be alright. I'm not into any of these girls, to be quite honest. I mean, none of them are if I was a younger male, single male, I don't think I'd like any of these girls. They're all kinda Eh. What about not even little sister complex? No, I don't like little sister complex. I don't like that idea. I mean, if any of them, I guess she's the closest. But pink, I mean. 
I don't oh, know. okay. I was gonna say like little sister complex or pink here. Pink here. Oh, okay. I guess she's the closest to my type, but that's like that's like saying, oh yeah, um, uh, dog doo doo is definitely close to cocoa puffs in the fact that it's brown. <laughs> That's 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 a terrible simile. Is is that even the right term? Um, I think it is. Did I use like or as? Probably. Um, it's like saying dog doo doo. Yeah, doo-doo. it's a simile. Yeah, okay. She I said, got it. She said wah ha ha ha. Uh, I mean that's cute, I guess. That's a like the thing okay. is. I can't deny, Pink does have, like, a cutesy, kawaii desune thing going well, on, okay? All of them? Yeah, but, I mean, Pink especially. Is she gonna give us her poem now? Probably. Can you stop talking and give us your poem? Well, the thing is... Whoa. Oh, no, it's also about the beach. Everybody is that is that beach. just the, is that just the term for today? We didn't even have a uh, a, 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 a secret word. Um, you know, uh, I got I got an idea. I'm we'll just use the, the one that we did last time. We'll we'll just use the one that we did last time. How about that? Which one? Because I got three. The the oh. last one okay. of those three. Yeah. Okay. But you're gonna have to be like, that's the secret word. Oh, that means I have to pay attention. <laughs> a, a little bit. Okay. Just, just, just hone in when you hear it. All right. Because I use forget. my selective vision. Good, selective vision. I'll be your beach. Okay. So notice me, senpai. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set your free. Set you free in my windy cell. And remember the reasons you're wonderful. When you press your lips to mine, this is getting, this is getting into like, you know, I'd say fanfic territory, but there's like no fanfic here. I'm holding my thoughts it's just, until the end. It, it, it's just like Fifty Shades of Grey. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought I had left you long ago. You're just reiterating this! This is this! Oh, man. I'm. You know what? Just minus one point off of her <laughs> right there. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. I, I take okay. it you don't like this one. I don't like it. I, uh, first off, minus one point for reiterating this. I get that you got like a choir or like a chorus here. That's probably not what the term is for a poem, but if this was a song, you're, this is the chorus, fine. But this is a poem. You read my thoughts I don't, exactly. I don't, I don't like that you're reusing this, okay? It's a poem, not a song. You want to write a song? Say, I'll be your beach. Kava song. This is what I was going to say about this. Yes. There's a place off Ocean Avenue where I used to sit and talk with you. We were both 16 and it felt so right. Sleeping all day, staying up all night. (laughs) That's what that reminded me of. (laughs) This is a yellow card song. 
it's a yellow. So it, it may as well be a yellow pencil. This sounds exactly like something they would put out. <laughs> this is a song, and you know, because I'm a filthy emo kid, I like it. Only I'm a filthy of that. emo kid. Only because of that very reason. It's I, I don't like this. It's cute. Well, I mean, she is pretty cute. It's a cute piece. It's not really a poem. It's definitely a song. Um, I, that's how I feel about it. If I was a lot younger, I would be like, Oh my god, I need to date this girl. <laughs> you know, I had the same thought. Um... You know what? Just just give her like minus two points, and that's that's what I have to say about this, at least for me. Two points. Okay. Yeah. Um. So there. I don't know that much about Evangelion. I like that song. I like it. I'm giving her a point because I like it. Oh, by all means, give her all the points. You know. Um. I like it. But I was just gonna say. So there's the song. Um. It's like from Evangelion, it's it's when the third impact happens and people are probably already aware. Uh, if I can find it, I'll, I just want to make sure I have the actual name of that song in front of my face so I can actually attempt to pronounce it. Uh, She's insecure about her poem and Rock's poem being about the same thing. She's like, oh, bet, right. I hope she doesn't say anything bad about my poem. <laughs> so, Evangelion, Third Impact. You want to know what that song's called? It's Kom Susertal. And it means Come Sweet Death. And much like what you're saying, if you were younger, you'd be into that song. And much like me, if I was younger, I'd be into this song. Because it's super depressing, and yet it sounds really upbeat. I want a girl who'll take me to the beach to take my troubles away and kiss me all night long. I want that. Well, you know what? I, I'm i a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. There's a place off Cherry Street. <laughs> I can't remember the word. I never liked Yellow. Which is... <laughs> there, there, you know what? They have that one song. I think it's Lights and Sounds or something like that. I think that the album. Or, But there might have been a song even... called that. Yeah, well, the song that the album's based on. The point is, that one sounded good. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyways, I, uh, who do you think out of these two we should do? Sayori. Sayori? Yeah. Well, that's good, because that's what the random number generator said. <laughs> I get it right sometimes. She's not oh, anything. you get it right all the time. She says this is our best one so far. Probably because I tried my best to pick words that you liked, Sayori. I can't believe I'm almost done this Irish cream. I drank this way too fast. <laughs> yes, you did. You're probably feeling pretty good right now, though, you know? Woo! <laughs> Chess is on the moon! I'm walking on the moon! Just like Vincent. <laughs> Uh, she's a little tired today, she said. You want to take a nap, you ask? No, that's silly. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, Senpai, please notice me. Oh, you know, I, I got it. I finally understand it. Uh-huh. You know what she kind of reminds me of, aside from the fact she lacks pink? What? She's Amy Rose, and we're Sonic. Oh, shoot, yeah, she is Amy Rose. Yeah, like, like if we were Sonic the Hedgehog, she would essentially be Amy Rose. So, does that mean, uh, Rock is Rouge the Bat? Uh, I, I guess, her or Monica, I mean, I guess you could say it's like this weird amalgam, because, I mean, you got, a uh, um, Pink, who has Pink. Wait, is she confessing? I don't know. Uh, the music changed, and, and it said something, and it's so hard to impress them. Or is she like, you know, oh, I think it's supposed to be a touching point, Chaz. We tried to... It's like when you're watching Full House, and, and the, the sad, or like the, the music changed to like, uh, signify a tone. Like when, uh... When, when to feel? When Uncle Jesse, like, buys 
somebody flowers. Or rather, like, you know, it, the the music's trying to set a tone for how the audience should feel right now. Oh. The problem is, I don't feel for Little Sister Complex. We tried to button her shirt up and it touched her boobs. I know, and it's, it was so weird. I did not like the angle. I actually, um, I was searching the Doki Doki Panic Club, um community tab on steam and a lot a ton of fanfics and fan art i believe it why right your own because this game is popular i mean look at us we're playing it on the internet and the problem is we're probably gonna be one of the two people they're they're gonna <laughs> run out of town they're gonna say you know you boys done fucked with my wife though my waifu what? you know you get the fuck out of here game, that's what they're gonna say Chaz. they're gonna lynch us this they're game, gonna hang us from a tree this game is a parody of those games <laughs> i mean it also has the dating sim elements to it she tries to put a smile she does smile look at her she's no it's nothing feel I'm so happy to see you. She promised it won't happen again. Good. I don't even know what she's promising that oh, to, but okay. Frowning or being bad. Just give me your poem. It's gonna be about the beach, you know. I hope so. Because then I'm going to write a poem about the beach, too. And then I'll get told... You want... You want it's not going to be important, though, Chaz. Like, it would have been relevant here if we write about the beach next time. I'm going to write about it anyway. Um, okay. She didn't even give wait, us a poem. I guess we... That's a wait, it, was that what she was saying? Is that is that what she said? That'll never happen again? Because... She, was uh, she didn't have a poem? Yeah, I gave it. Is that what she was said? That's a minus point for me. <laughs> That's the only reason I care about this game is for the poetry. <laughs> I mean, okay, whatever. Monica. Monica, please say you got something for us. I feel plus one because, you know, I always love looking at those deep, deep green eyes. Wow, man. You. Yeah. They're seductive. Does she sound like a uh, Nimcl? No. No one will ever sound like Nimble Clef 4. <laughs> Except for my non existent girlfriend. You don't know that. And, and uh. And, and Zoop from Secret of Mana. <laughs> she sounds like her. <laughs> I love Gramps. Well, I mean, you do Gramps. Um, no one can ever replace Gramps. I like how we're referencing this one video we did called Sometimes Always Monsters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is that video... Uh, is that... Is it's it, still up, it's, as far as I'm aware. Up, okay. Uh, well, like, the first part of it. We were trying to do, like, a whole entire series, and, uh... Never happened. That computer broke, so... Um, um I, I, I remember game. I posted... You did. I, I didn't. It. I like that game. It's much You're waiting more... for the sequel. Oh my god, I forgot about the sequel. It was supposed to come out this year, I think. It got- the, the store page got taken down. She's teasing us. Oh. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time today. Listen, Monica. You don't look like Monica from Friends. Well, obviously. Bam, bam, Her hair color's bam, way too bam, different. Bam, bam. <laughs> if if only we had like more uh guys i feel like this could totally be a good friends sort of anime-esque thing uh, yeah i i would i'd watch it um like school rumble was kind of in that vein and i like school rumble it, it sort of actually started off with like you know a cast of four four women, but then uh, there was this other guy who also got kind of like the the uh, starlight. So it was sort of like 
going between different characters, and it, it was good. I liked it. Is School Rumble the show with the dance in the intro, where there's like two guys and one's happy and one's sad, and then the, I don't think so. There's three girls. And they uh, dance. I'm gonna say no. What the heck is that anime? Uh, I don't know, but I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll show you the intro to School Rumble. Okay. Uh, in the next part. Oh, here's her poem. It's short and sweet. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. It's <laughs> definitely not short and sweet. Look, look, I saw this, this is the, and I you're like, short and sweet. I thought it ended with a feather. Well, I mean, it's it's not long. It just it's looks long sweet. because, yeah. What is that called? The um, who had everything? The lady who knows everything. Oh, okay. Um, also, I should say, hers is not about the beach so far. Well, I'm gonna write about the beach anyway. Because I live And it'll tell... Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just saying, I live near the beach, so it's, it's always on the uh, I do not live near the beach. It's like 40 minutes away. I could probably walk to the beach. I can't. I, actually, I have several times. I wish I could. Anyway. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that ever w sought. Oh wait, and all that was ever sought. Okay. And here I am, a feather. What is this, Forrest Gump? <laughs> Lost adrift, the sky victim of the current, the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains the last dim star glimmering in the twilt sky twilt or twilight no it's t w i l i t oh, okay until one day the wind ceases to blow i fall and fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather a dry quill expressionless but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger the hand of a beautiful lady I look at her I er, I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze the lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Um, that yeah. was kind of morbid. Well, it's. I'm trying to think. Of minus that. two points. Minus two points. Minus two points. Oh. I didn't like it. I don't I like. like it. I don't like. I don't like this lady who knows everything. I don't like that she's basically saying all that ever will be and ever is doesn't matter. Well, it's true. Look, I get that we're dust in the wind, but I I don't want to hear about the harsh realities of truth. I want to put my rose-colored glasses on. No, Monica, I you suck. I thought we had something special. Instead, you you may be depressed. I think it was very introspective. I think it reflects her and her like pursuit on life. I guess she's the woman who knows everything. She is, no, she is. She's talking about her. 
Uh, minus another point for being Whoa. egotistical. Whoa. Whoa. Um, it was all right. It's it's definitely not. It's not something I want to read again. How about that? Yeah, it wasn't, I, I it can wasn't agree a, with it you. Wasn't, it wasn't great. Definitely wasn't your best work, Monika. Monika? Yeah. Monika. Monika. <laughs> That's not her name, but I can dig it. Um, now, I know you're the woman who knows. That's kind of the, the, the silly thing about this game. She's the mm -hmm. all-knowing eye or whatever. I mean, it's like I always say, a little Monica. In my life. A little Monica. By my side. A little bit of Monica, just for fun. A little bit of Monica, phone. No, her, when she A little does, bit of Monica, classroom. When she does that hand gesture, it looks so weird to me. She's trying to be hip and with it. Well, guess what, Monica, you're not. A little bit of Mo uh, Monica is a trendsetter. Why does she have such a large bow in her hair? Because it's cutesy. It seems like a lot of effort to... It is a lot of effort, but it, you know, it's cutesy. Why do you think she has a boyfriend? Do you think she That does? I'll never be able to be? Do you think she takes it out of her hair every night when bed, or does she sleep with it in her hair? Uh, no, she takes it out. It's a lot of effort. Or does she yeah. sleep? Here's a good question. Does she ever sleep? Oh, that's a good question. Well, she does... She is able to close her eye. It's... I mean, it's likely. We're all done with poems now, right? Well... Yeah, we are. Everybody but little sister complex who didn't have one. There's Pink. Pink, I liked your poem the most today. Because it reminded me of a terrible time in my life. Actually, it may have been the best time in my life. Who the heck knows? Um, Yuri Lowenthal here. Something about a catchphrase. I have a catchphrase. What's your catch? What's, that? What's your catchphrase for this game? Um. Help. Mine was, um, turn up for what? <laughs> it's a good catchphrase. I like it. Mine's just, help. <laughs> I'm in this situation. Help. Oh, Sayori is not here. She left early. No. Right. Yes, I she think, did. I think she mentioned that. Um, she wasn't feeling too well. You know, I'm getting weird in... vibes where it's like, is this where things start getting weird? But obviously not. Who's gonna walk her home now? Who's gonna walk me home? I had too much to drink. Uh... <laughs> I'll walk you home. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, buddy, we can go. Man, we don't need any of these women. Let's go, let's go hang out and play video games. Yo. Walk you to the club like we own the place. Yo, it's like that it's like that gangsta delicious song. Homies over hoes. <laughs> Homies over hoes. <laughs> it's like I always say, I got that thug in love. <laughs> 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 That's the real tragedy here. We got we got pink, we got green eyes, we got rock. But it turns out none of them were the right answer because in, in truth, we're all about that thugging love. Little homie, you don't know about fucking love. <laughs> <laughs> and then Riley got weirded out. He got oh some thug knocked me over the head. Uh, I like how uh, Gangster Licious talks about Ice Cube, how he used to be so gangster. You mean that man who makes family movies? He used to be so gangster. I had dreams about him coming into my house and shooting up my whole family. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> but instead, about? no, I gotta deal with. That's right. Cupcake. Will be cup to Actually, that's pretty legit. Just yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll, I'll, Pink's gonna make cupcakes. I'll show up, Pink. Yep, I'll show. I'll up. show up every day. You know how to handle yourself. Challenge accepted, she said. And for myself. Wait, what are we talking about? I don't know. She's making poetry. Your green eyes. Green eyed lady, ocean lady. She hypnotizes. She's going to. <laughs> We're gonna she has to her two different colored eyes because I have a weird. Wow. I have a weird arrow cursor thing. We'll need to gaze into her chocolate. <laughs> Guys! Look at her, she's bent, she's doing her silly lean. Yep. She's doing her... Oh, don't I'm you... Don't oh man, Rock is... <laughs> don't look at me! Don't look at me! You know what, it's okay, go listen to some, uh... She listens to Evanescence. Listen. Yeah, go listen to some Evanescence. Go go listen to some Christina Aguilera. I am beautiful no matter what they say. I forgot that was her. Words can't bring me down. So, Whoa! Down. So don't you bring me down today. You like how Pink just has her arms crossed like all the time? Uh, no, because she's pretty much a stuck-up bitch. Whoa. I mean, let's be honest. Has she not been displaying signs about being a stuck-up bitch? Um, like, there's a lot of hostility, much in the way of how a bitch would stand, like be all stuck-up and hostile. And that's not to say that, you know... Men can't be bitches too. They can. It's just you're displaying bitch like behavior, okay, Pink? If you somebody. tone it down, maybe we could be friends. Somebody is. It's your fault for having the cutesy ambiance going on. We're trying to find something for. Getting ready for. Oh, like, oh, I can't do anything. I'm useless. Oh, wow. It's... Oh, it's so. Okay, there, Rock, you're just fine. <laughs> you caressing her with the matters. <laughs> it's okay, Rock. I'll just be here for you. I won't. <laughs> I won't either. But you're today's wife from my perspective. Um, uh, can I pick, um... <laughs> Oh, there's only four characters in this game, so we can't really pick anybody. Yeah. We can pick ourselves. I pick, uh... You can pick Velber. Ooh, I know who I'll pick. I'm picking Norton anti <laughs> oh, I wonder if Norton Antivirus will show up today. He'll come. If he doesn't come... I'm gonna cry. Norton, save me! <laughs> I mean, anything's possible, right? Anything's possible in this game. Anything's possible. I hear that somebody... You know, I thought you were okay there, Pink, but it turns out you're not. See, here's the problem. We don't have little sister complex here, right? She's too busy throwing up or something. Well, yeah. I mean, she's like the happy character. So, you got, you got bitch? Or pink? <laughs> should, I should just reiterate that trait because, I mean, whatever pink. Yeah. Then we got rock. Uh-huh. Which is okay. I'm fine with rock. And then we got Monica. Monica has a boyfriend, so obviously I can't choose her as a love interest. Also, when we do the poems, she's not a result. No. So you got pink, who's all stuck up all the time, and then you got rock. And since Little Sister's Complex is not here, which one do you choose? Pink. Really? Yeah. I'll choose rock. Pink. I'll choose rock. I like being talked down to. I... It reminds me of how stupid I actually am. I just want to give her a candy bar. I don't know if she'd like that. Look, Monica's... I just want to throw, it, I just wanna throw it at her face. Monica's and see how she reacts. 
and blushing. Look at that. She's really, uh... She has a boyfriend! Maybe you can make her break up. I like to imagine if I did throw a candy bar at her, this is the face she'd make. <laughs> Like, you know, this is the face she'd make if I did that to her. I'd be very mad. <laughs> when is she not mad? Um, when she's like caught off guard, she's like, oh! You're right. Or I, I think something about manga. When you talk about her slice of life mangas. Yeah, what are they? I'm not crazy about slice of. Actually, I don't know. I could take her, leave it. What they're talking about we have to pick well, something but of course i'm going with i really have no idea what we're picking we um look we have to pick someone right sayori she's not here so we can't. um or who? monica oh i could pick monica well she's available I? we should pick her well Here's the thing, okay? Maybe she'll break up with her boyfriend if you pick her. Oh. You wanna know? <laughs> Alright, Chaz. I pulled up the number generator. Uh-huh. I, um... If it's a one, we have to redo it. No, it's not a one. Okay. But that said, are you sure? I'll, I'll I'll give you I'll give you the option of pulling up another generator and doing this yourself if you want. No, I'll go with your result. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what we're picking. I mean, I'm not even like super into this, or, but I mean, pick Monica. It is what it is. Monica, just what? Monica, just Monica. You are you sure? Yep, just Monica. Fine. Oh, uh, you're helping. Oh, I guess Monica. we're helping Monica. Right, we're helping Monica out. Yay! She's can, happy about she's it. She's so happy. Oh, she's not. Well, yeah, she's always not I'm happy. not happy either. Oh man. Th th she needs the least help. She's gonna make us pick somebody else. Oh man. <laughs> Why even let I mean, I was her? happy... Why are we... Silver was the one who. Whoa. Doesn't matter. Oh. Now we made them fight by picking on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You're the club president. I mean that. Don't don't do that in real life. Don't have women actually fight over a person. Or actually, just don't have people fight over one person. It's probably the real lesson of. Today, but an anim animu literature club. I'm fine with it because I don't care motives. about any of these characters. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is on a ulterior motives. Maybe ulterior motives. Excuse <laughs> me. Yeah, go excuse yourself. Oh, Monica's calling them out because they're mad that Filbert picked Monica. And she's like, yeah. oh, you guys have ulterior motives. Date him. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, the only one I want to date is the luscious green eyes of, uh, no. Think of the club, Monica. You're supposed I'm not, to help us. I, I, I don't, though. No, Monica's got to think of I want club. none of these people. She's gonna make us work with somebody else. Do the right thing, President. Okay, okay. I get it, she says. She sighed. She wanted to work with us. Oh, you know, I was okay with the two. Well, now we have to choose between those two. But what about Sayori, or they, the little sister they complex? They said something like, oh, she's capable how she's vice president. To oh no, it's not responding. Game broke. Now it's responding. Guess that's what we'll do. We have to pick. That was else weird. Now. Can we pick Monica again? Was that a thing of the game, or was that just? Uh oh, the game's gonna start getting weird. Oh no, it just—it literally said not responding up in this corner, which you um... can't see, viewers. But oh, it just froze. We have to pick somebody else now.
Um. Where did the random number generate? All right, I'll go to the random number generator. Well, who did it give us the first time? Are, are you sure you want to know? No. It, it wasn't who you said it was, though. It wasn't pink. Well, I, I got the results. It changed. It's, it's not pink, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ar 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 oh man, look. Look, first time it was rock. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now it's pink. Uh, like I said, if you want to pull up a number generator and actually put in your, I'll I'll do your number because I I mean. Um, I don't want to. No, I don't want to like hog all this hot action. Oh. <laughs> I want you no. to have some choices here. All right, it's either between pink or rock. No, well, I mean you have to do number right, hold generator. On. Hold on, give me number generator. Or I mean you could do a coin flip if we I are already. It. I got an idea. Here it is. Who? Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I have an idea. Clearly, they both want my attention. Hey, which Google, is fine. pick a number between one and three. Are you kidding me? Oof. Did it get pink? Pick a number between one and three. I broke. I broke my. Well, he picked three. So we're doing Little Sister Complex? He picked three. Alright, Little Sister Complex. That's what Google said. I mean, you take priority in this situation. <laughs> good. Alright, good. We don't pick pink. But Makaka said, Makaka said, The green eyes there. said. We gotta pick another person. Probably. Because they're all mad. Do you hate us that much? Yes. 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 Right on the nose, Pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh! God, right. This was unintentional. Look, I was just... I was laughing. Alright, I'm doing it again. Pick a number between right. one and two. Just flip a coin at this point. 55. What? 55? <laughs> That's not one or two. What? That's not... Alright, there's two numbers in 55. That's two, right? No, that's, um... That's... Alright, look. All right. Just, just... Flip a if, coin. It's, if it's an odd number, it's gonna be pink. If it's an even number, it's gonna be... I just flipped the coin. Tails. Uh anybody to tell. 55. I mean, we could pick pink since it's an odd pink, number. Pink. Pink it is. Okay. Alright, fine. Oh, we're baking. Okay. That's a good choice. 55. I said pick a number between 1 and 2. We're good. Oh no, I just thought of something. What? So, Pink here makes good cupcakes, right? Yeah. Um, and we're helping her. Yeah. I I'm already going to say we're going to we're not going to meet her standards of baking cupcakes. Maybe we will. Let's remain optimistic. I mean, I'm I'm based on how Pink has been treating us. Probably not. You're right. I am very pessimistic about this. Why do we have to choose between Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Because the game said do it. Well, I wanted to go with Monica. Well, I wanted to go with uh, Felbert. Oh, yeah, let's do that. No, wait, I take it back. I wanted none of them. I wanted Norn Antivirus. Oh, shoot, you, you think he'd teach us how to. Like, make sure viruses aren't on computers? Yeah, I, I think so. I think Noran Antivirus would protect me. Look how happy she is now. Well, yeah, because we picked her. But look look how 
What about you? Dead Doctor? rock looks. Oh well. That that is a sign of I hate my life. Dead inside. Dead. <laughs> I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. Where is spacing out? She's sulking, like Pink said. Because we chose Pink over her, and she's pouting too. She's pouting because. Huh. Not that it's not like I like you or anything, Baka. Pink. Um. I'll give you a point, Pink. I'll give you a point. I don't know why. Oh. It's against my better judgment, but alright. I don't even know why you're giving, okay, random points. Um. Give me a point because you're going to teach me how to make your special cupcakes. I am going to, I, I say minus a point to Rock for, for being dead inside. Okay. Um. Monica, uh. Minus the point because she forced us into this. Yeah, she didn't take control. I'll give her mine. She could have been like, screw uh, you guys. And, and pink. Yeah. I, I can't really give you minus the point because you're gonna you can basically her... be yourself when we're cooking, you can give but. Her minus half a point. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. How about. You know, minus one for little sister complex for not being here. Air make the atmosphere special. Fine, alright, whatever. Pink plus one because you're being all like, I'm not stuck up all the time. But you're still done. Uh, don't push it, Pink. She's pushing me. No, oh, she's pushing me. Push me and then just her. Right, right. Uh, so satisfaction? 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 That is a song I thought about the other day, and then I was like, no one... Like, that song is never brought up anymore. It used to be all over the place, and now it's not. Just like 009 Soundscape. Um, what was that song called? The one that goes... That was... Tube video. Huh. Just like, uh, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. Oh yeah, well that one's still. Um, I I hear that one from time to time. Oh man, now I want to listen to that zero zero nine sounds. <laughs> it was on every video because it was like the stock <laughs> YouTube music that you could put on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh uh, no. Yeah, you are dumb. I feel bad for her now. I have guilt. I don't. I have guilt. Yeah. I have massive guilt. What are we even talking about? Oh. <laughs> now you wish you chose her. Well, I mean, I have massive guilt, so yes. Okay, but I'm staying here to help. I barely have any reading to do today. You know what, Monica? She's gone. You know, you know what, Monica? You care about your friends sometimes. Just like zero zero nine. Oh no, Pink. Oh, she's cornering. Where am I going? You need to figure out her plans. Oh no, oh, we get to spend the weekend, weekend with Pink. Hanging up again. I, I, oh no, I have to contact her. She's got her number. She's going to text us things in the middle. Oh right? no, I don't want this. Once upon a time, I was taught, I, I had a girl's number, and she would send me texts late at night about stupid things. Like, one time, I got a girl's number, right? Yeah. So I messaged her, right? Yeah. Now I'm going on a date. Nice. Which, by the time this came out, it already happened. Nice. But, that's... That's irrelevant to this situation. I got... We got Pink... Oh, no! Uh -huh. I don't want to go over to Pink's house. Mm, she's gonna give you, like, the... A, a funny drink. 
and keep you in her house forever. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, that would be hilarious. I would actually give Pink plus one if she tried to roofie uh, me. We're not allowed to her at her house. Her parents would kill her. Her dad would kill. You know what? I'm fine with that. Plus one for her dad. Okay, Pink's dad. He's he's getting <laughs> added right now. Yeah, plus one for Pink's dad. You have a cool. You have a good dad. He's in now. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Oh no, I just realized. What? If we can't go over to her house, does that mean she's going over to ours? Maybe. Oh no, I don't I don't want this. We're gonna fall in love with her. But I don't I don't want to She's gonna teach us how good she is at baking. Well, okay. She said you better Plus look one because she likes baking. She said you better look forward to it. I'm just gonna do her dirty work. I lo I'm looking forward to it. A plus one for pink. I'm looking forward to it. It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. Seriously, I can't stop saying it. That's what all her character basically is. She's... Wait, really? She's looking forward to it. Well, I kind of. She am, is. Baka. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> She's never been over uh, baked with anybody else. She said. She no. But let me tell you what I'm thinking about. What else are you gonna bake? I wanna bake cupcakes. Sunday. You're gonna bake on Sunday. Oh, I don't wanna bake on Sunday. Closed on Sundays, you're my Chick fil A. Oh no. I can't believe oh, this. You're happy. Filbert's happy. Coming to Is he on Sunday? Yeah. I never thought I'd have such a beautiful woman at my house. Uh, is that why we couldn't do the thing with Sayori? She was not there, and... Uh, we, well, I know, know, but I'm saying, is this why we couldn't choose Sayori? Because no. the game wanted us to choose between these Tweedledee two. or Tweedledum, as you put it? Yeah, I think they did. Oh, but... Because it was like, if you're getting too close to Sayori, it's obvious that you gotta pick someone else. Sayori's gonna not like this. She's gonna be like, oh, you have another girl at your house and not me? <laughs> I thought... Well, I mean, she first off, she knows who Natsuki is. Oh, even worse. Pink. So, I mean, now it's just gonna cause tension and drama. She's gonna be like, but, but the I thing you, is... I let you put your hands all over my body. But the thing is, yeah. if anyone's going to be able to hold their own, it's definitely Pink. I mean, think about it. If it was Yuri, there's no way that Yuri would stand up against any any sort of confrontation. Yeah. Pink's going to be She'd like, be really, like, shy and uh, oh, I'm submissive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, at least that's how I feel about it. That or she would get extremely dark and then uh, it would go into a very, very odd direction. We're checking, double checking numbers or something. She uses emojis and cute language. I I had a feeling she did. She's got the cutesy thing going for her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start texting people, emoji, including my boss. I'm gonna send him a bunch of emojis. <laughs> I'm sure he'll. Appreciate I wonder it. if your boss would be okay with that. He won't. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's very unprofessional behavior there, bud. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, well, I would hope not. Now, my other boss at my other job, she might... But but my main boss, probably not. I mean, it is what it is. Um, We gotta keep Sayori's feelings separate. We're just doing work. Well, we're visiting Sayori first. Mm-hmm. So, oh, we're gonna see Sayori. He's gonna be like, "Is this where we have the ability to say she means nothing to me?" We have the ability to say, "Sayori, I love you," but I don't. We love Sayori though. But I don't. Well, your love is forbidden because boyfriend. My love is for Norton antivirus. Mine too. 
If you, uh, if you... Oh. Mm. This is getting weird. I assume she's in her other room. She's already on the... It's the gone extremely quiet. No music, huh? There's, like, no music. Well, there's her room. There she... Hey, here she is. She's in pink now. She is in pink. She's sad. She looks... She does look sad. Mm. She has, like, a cow plush in her room. She, and like a bird with a hat, or it's like maybe that. It looks like an angry that's bird. That's exactly what I said. It's the yellow angry. Yeah, it does. Maybe she likes angry bird. Hey, uh, her calendar kinda, by her dresser. It's kind of ripped at the bottom. I know. Why is it ripped? Probably, what happened? Probably because she like sneezed when put it up and then. What? Um, how could you sell? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta tell her how I, yeah, uh, a thing. Hey, uh, look, how did you it's know? not what you, it's. It'll be man, oh man. She knew about it. Uh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Good Monica. Yeah. Thanks, Monica. Point for Monica for. Being a good friend. I mean, that is, yeah, Monica's at least responsible, but. Point. Mm hmm. But what about you? What about me? Oh, uh, she's helping Monica. Yeah. Of course, I'm just helping her online. Mm, okay. We could have did the same I thing. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Does she know how to use the internet? I guess. Can she teach me how to open, create a website? Use Squarespace. Can she teach me how to use Squarespace? Well, I mean, watch any creator's video and they'll probably tell you how to. I don't want to. I want. I want. I want little sister complex here to teach me how to use Squarespace. Squarespace.com, where all your dreams. But they're not. I don't even use Squarespace for my website. So take I know. that content creator. <laughs> On the other hand, you can probably look at Chaz's blog site in the description got, down below. It's got not one, but two new posts this week. Ooh, baby. But by the time this is up, there probably, who knows? There'll probably still be only one or two new posts. <laughs> I mean, this is God knows how far in the future. Yeah, but it takes me that long to actually write it. It's fine. No one's gonna judge you. Right, is she gonna kiss us yet or something? Um, I don't know. I've I've been wondering so many things. Like, first off, Sayori, uh, what what are we? She says this is punishment for being so selfish. Is she selfish about it again? I wasn't. Well, none of us were. See, that's the problem with how we're doing this. When big points actually happen, then it's like, oh man, what did I miss? It's like when I went to see Star Wars Episode Nine for the second time, because I, I find myself getting roped into seeing it multiple times. You see, I liked it. I, I liked Episode Nine. I thought it was really good. I, mean, I, mean, I, can, um, I, can, I... I might be on the minority on that We are. Opinion. We're totally in the minority. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. If anyone, if anybody wants to talk about it, you can just tell me how I'm wrong in the comment section you or could something. I don't call know. Call me on my point phone. is, well, the second time I watched it, I was really tired because it was like Christmas Day, Ooh. and I was hanging out with a friend, and I had been up for like we trapped her. I don't know. I had been up for like a while, and when I got into the movie theaters. I just started, like, dozing off. And you fell asleep. I, I did. Like, it's a two and a half hour movie. I think I was awake for about half, like, half an hour. Granted, I had already seen it at that point, so it's not like I was missing any of the important stuff. Yeah. It was just, man, 
I felt really bad because I was like, this this kind of sucks. Whoa, what are they making him say? I guess what I'm trying to say is that's that's sort of how it is with doing Toki Toki Literature Club like this. I'm sort of like just going Ooh. in and out. And she's had really bad depression all her life, which kind of sucks. Wait. Yeah. Why oh, that does suck. Go to school every day. Why do you have she so wants, well, out of bed? Is this when the game starts getting crazy? Look, I have bad depression too. Me too. <laughs> But I mean, it it comes and goes. Why go to school? Why? And also, this is getting really dark really fast. Yeah, make friends. Why put energy into anything? What's the point of waking up today? <laughs> the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. That was a song from Tony Hawk Underground. I don't know what it's called though. You know, you know. Actually, it's pretty depressing when you think about it. If the best part of waking up. It's Folgers in my cup. I don't want to get up today. Folgers is pretty garbage coffee. If the best part of waking up is just coffee in general, I don't want to. I don't want to wake up. I gotta tell you, I love coffee, and it can be the best part of waking up if it's a really good cup of coffee. Well, I don't like coffee, so. Like I got this new coffee, it's... and it's pretty dang good, and. I think I'm gonna drink some tomorrow. I mean, that works. Oh man, she's really hurt. Everybody hurts. But I mean, I mean, it's not because we chose Pink. It's because she can be there for us. Sometimes. At least that's what I'm. I'm getting. You know, it's like. Uh, I, I guess we're here to comfort her, you know, because, uh, Philbert, Philbert's like, I care about you, friendo. Mm -hmm. She didn't tell us because she didn't want us to worry about her. Well, I mean, cool. But the problem is, it's better how are we going to go about this now, you know? We're going to have to keep her on suicide watch or something <laughs> oh that's that's not good Chaz oh this is ooh, this is some hardcore stuff I, I see it's just making things awkward oh. I mean sure I'm gonna say this um something else too I feel like she may want to see someone about this, because as much as I want to help her, I'm really not qualified for Whoa. any of this. She doesn't like us being friends with everybody. She's like, it's a spear going through my heart. Well, that's... You know, it's really her fault, to begin with. For dragging us into the club? Right. I don't want to go to the club. She kind of said, we gotta go. But I don't need you to understand. Whatever makes you help, stop hurting. I, do that. I get the feeling it's no, gonna be bad. No, Silver, there's nothing you can do. Nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped was keeping things like it always was. That was selfish. <laughs> I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Oh, uh, she's oh. crying. I mean, oh. it worked out for the best, right? Monica. You love Monica, right? Well, you do. <laughs> no, I love Norton Antivirus. Well, your points say different. Well, um, 50 points to Norn Antivirus. Can't go up more than three. Uh, two and a half to Norn Antivirus because <laughs> Norton's always in my mind. Alright, Norton. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna subtract a point from her, but I'm also 
add a point to her. Ooh, what do we do? Filbert. Do we kiss her? Oh no. Apparently, I love her. I'm really happy that she's. Uh oh, Chaz. I think we, I think we picked our wife. Did we just love lockdown? I th I think we've love locked little sister complex. We kept our love locked down. Um, you know, whatever. Filbert deserves to be like, I love you. He's not loving sure. like he wanted to. Oh no, she's not hugging him back. Her. I'm hugging her loving. apparently, but she's not loving you like you want her to. She she's sobbing next to my ears. Don't do this to me. I, I. It's just a waste of time. This has caught me off guard, to be quite frank. I don't know if I'm doing... You know what? I really don't think I'm helping at all, to be honest. A a me as in Filbert. No, I think he's doing a bad thing. I, I think he's being selfish now. He's like, I don't care if you're selfish. I love... I, I think he's thinking with his other head, if you know what I mean. I'll make these feelings... I'll make these feelings go... It oh, work, no, Phil... It doesn't work like that. Yeah, um... Harsh lesson in life is as much as you want to be the white knight, you really can't. Uh, people try. People have the best intents, but you can't change someone if they don't want to change. It's very odd to say, but it's one of the hardest lessons to learn if you want to try to protect people. Nothing at all. It's really scary. To be honest, she sorta is giving me some weird vibes to when I was a teenager. I didn't feel like this when I was a teenager. I did. I mean, I didn't go and make a scene like this. And granted, it is it is private. They're in her room, so like I can understand if it's a little it's a little real right now. The festival's but tomorrow. But at the same, t yeah. Oh man. It's going to be fun, right? No. I don't think she's thinking about tomorrow's festival. I think she's kind of having a moment here, Filbert. She kept her love Granted, locked down. Yeah. Granted, you know, Filbert's trying to distract and trying to, like, bring up the mood, you know. I get it. Mm. Um, are, are you... Are you... Are you, like, you know, pledging your love, your eternal love? I wish I could spend the whole day with her. I, I think he's take care pledging of, his love. I have to take care of Pink. Maybe I should cancel. Yeah. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, that sucks, dude. I wouldn't forgive you. What? Uh, oh... I guess we're gonna have to go meet up with Pink. It would be fun. Oh, Pink wouldn't like that. She shook her head anyway. She didn't want to help. No. No. I, like I feel like we did... We, I, I feel really weird about all this. Like, you know, confused weird. If I mean, if we're cooking cupcakes, the amount of water is really... You gotta be on point with that. She would cry. Oh, absolutely! She would cry in the balance. Cupcakes Those cupcakes would be, would be a little too salty too. That too, salt in the tears. Mm. No, we can't yeah. have you here. <clears throat> but I mean, she just dropped a huge bombshell on us. She's depressed, and she is. She's depressed a lot, apparently. Well, I'm sorry, Sayori. Depression's a hard subject, you know. Not one I'm qualified it, it to speak is. of. I'm not either. See, it's like I was trying to say, your friends will try to help you. Uh, in this case, Filbert will try to help you. He did, but 
It wasn't really the help that she needed. It's not the right help either. <laughs> it's not. And and I'm not saying that Felbert didn't try. I feel like he did. He's just only capable of so much, especially being the uh, protagonist of this dating simulator. She needs somebody professional. Yeah. You know, Felbert here, you he can only do so much. But I've been in that situation too, you know. I, when really? I was experiencing a hard time, I sought professional help. I had a counselor that I went to. It helped. Some days more than others, but it helped. She's not in her uniform. She's not? Well, I mean, we're out of school. She looks kind of sporty, actually. I don't think so. I think she's got kind of like an oh, uh, like a thing going on, you know? What kind of thing? Like a cutesy thing? I don't know. Maybe it's just her shirt that kind of looks sporty to me. She I think she's got a skirt on. Oh, okay. Like the text the text box in the way. Well, the text is in the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's See, there you go. Skirt on. Never mind. She doesn't look sporty at all. Her shirt has a little bun rabbit. Bun rabbit head. Yeah. Now, do you think it's or is that a kitty cat? Do you think it's jazz or spaz rabbit? Wait, what? Is it jazz rabbit or spaz rabbit? Um. You never played those games, did you? No, no, I didn't. That's a shame. I think you would have liked I'm gonna them. go with Jazz Rabbit. Yeah, probably. Spaz Rabbit's kind of crazy. Spaz Rabbit sounds Jazz, odd. Jazz Jack Rabbit's cool, man. He's a cool. Who made those games? I think. It, I don't know. I think. I think it was. Um... You know what? Now I gotta look it up. Uh, Pink, just keep entertaining the kids for now. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Uh, so we're going to the kitchen, right? Epic Games? Really? They made it? Yeah. Really? And that... she wants to take... Yeah, she wants to take the heavy bag because um, we have no, no manners. We're not a gentleman. That's right, Pink. I'm a terrible person. I'm no gentleman. You take your stuff. I can't believe it. I really thought... Except I can't. This is ridiculously heavy. I really thought it was, um... What did I get myself into? Epic Games made it. Alright. No, I'm not impressed. Not at all. I need help. <laughs> oh, yeah. The name of the game is Help. <clears throat> uh, do I still have... You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. Pink, no, no, you have no, no, made no, no, no. me want to play Jazz Jack Rabbit again. Look, right now I'm just gonna save, okay? Okay, save the game. This has gone on a long, a long time. time. Yes. I am surprised. We haven't gotten to a poetry. You can actually see when I saved this game. Oh. That's how long ago it was. Oh my god. No one cares. I care. Next time. Whatever whatever this is. I'll write a poem or something. We're gonna write a poem at the beginning of this part. Yeah. Maybe it'll be good. I'm not gonna write probably it. not. I don't feel like writing a beach poem anymore. Me neither. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.